Hey guys. Well today I just want to do a real quick video and share something with you that I learned uh, fairly recently. I have a friend who's going to be um, on a TV show or whatever it's called, Bad Guys in the Woods or something. Um, I've, I've caught a few episodes of it and actually they had a marathon of it the other day. And one thing they showed on it, and I had never seen this before, but um, milkweed pods, these milkweed pods, inside of here there's this little extra little thing right there on this pod and this thing will take an ember very well and I actually missed the episode but my mom was watching it and she told me about it and she said that uh, they used they did it uh, a solar fire with it so um, I always carry a lighter with me and when I'm tramping through the woods if I see something that uh, intrigues me or if I want to do a burnability test on it I just whip out the lighter and check it out so let me uh, take a lighter to this and I'll show you how it makes an ember. So obviously I can't do solar today, it's pretty cloudy. All right, let's just check it out, see how well it works just with a lighter. Now you can see that uh, that took an ember pretty quick, and obviously it's a lighter, but the properties of it to continue to burn and continue to create an ember like that is pretty cool. And that's all I'm checking for today is properties. Properties of, you know, allowing it to sit here and smolder and, and keep this ember. Regardless of how I lit it on fire, you know, you can cheat with a lighter and stuff just to tell your properties. Not that using a lighter is cheating, it's using a lighter is <laughs> obviously the way to go, but you know what I mean. We'll get to sit there and smolder. I was actually quite surprised. I, you know, had no idea that this did this. This is... This is an awesome resource for me to remember because I've got a lot of milkweed in my area. All right, just thought I'd show you that. It was, uh, like I said, it was kind of surprising to me. Well, we finally got some sun, so I thought I'd give it a try real quick. So as you can see, that worked pretty good. Once I finally got her dialed in and stopped looking at the camera and stuff. That's a lot easier than crumpling up a leaf or sometimes even bark or whatever, you know, if you can find something like that. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, well I just thought I'd show you that real quick. Um, you know. I learned that from the TV show. I, it just blows me away, that little leaf thing. I've got them all over my area, and I guess I just never tried that inner part. I mean, the, the fluff itself is a great flash tinder, but I had never thought to try that little inner leaf thing. And, you know, of course, that has to be dry. It has to be uh, quite dry. One other thing, too, you know, like I was saying, testing the, the flammability or whatever of, a, of something, you know, like I said, I always carry a lighter. Um, you'd be surprised some of the materials that you think would work real well but actually don't. Like this top here, this totally looks like a good flash tinder and I've actually practiced with this stuff quite a bit and you know I've never charred it which it probably would work pretty good charred but as far as um, you know like a flash tinder it will smolder and stuff and maybe add to your tinder bundle but this was a true flash tinder this sucker should just go f flaming right up you know some of the outer little hairs will light up but anyway I kind of walk through the woods and test stuff like this being very careful of course in my area you know I just dump it in some snow and it goes right out but um, yeah really doesn't work that good this stuff Alright guys, hope you liked the video, take care.